Future Look CES 2012 coverage is brought to you by Cooler Master. Celebrating 20 years of innovation and excellence with visually striking products like the new Cooler Master Cosmos 2 Ultra Tower Chassis. Hi, I'm Steven with FutureLooks.com and we're at CES 2012. We're just visiting the Kingston Technology booth over at the Caesars Palace. I'm with our good friend here from the HyperX division, Ken Tung. He's got a couple of things to show us, starting with this guy. What's this all about, Ken? Hi, this is our new uh, limited edition red. And for, Hy uh, for HyperX, we've been known to be, uh, you know, the color blue, black, and maybe even gray. So this year, we're, we decided to stay, uh, to be outside of our box and, and decide to come out with a color red. Now, what speeds and capacities are we looking at in this uh, special edition? Uh, yeah, two, two very simple speed and uh, capacity. One is um, uh, 1333 megahertz, and, this, and the second is 1600. And capacity-wise, we're going to have it in 4 gig single and uh, 8 gig kits. Now, will there be any supreme price uh, premiums on this product because it is the limited edition? No, actually, it's going to be fairly, um, fairly priced. If you know our blue uh, HyperX Blue line, we are we're going to price it the same as blue. So, so wherever you see out there uh, with the blue, this is going to be the same. And when can uh, people look forward to buying this on the shelves? Um, actually, we launched it today, so so you should be able to see it uh, in the market as of right now. So right after uh, CES, people can go to Newegg or NCIX and order those up right away. That's correct. Awesome. Now you also teased me with one other product. Let's have a look at that as well too. No problem. Now what's this product that you have in front of you? Well, this product's very exciting because um, uh, this is our new, uh, this is our newest design on the T1. So, so what it is is we got rid of the tall fins and made it a little bit shorter, and we actually make it made it a little bit thicker uh, for better heat dissipation. Now this one is going to come in the same capacity as the original. Yes, whatever uh, T1 has, this will just trans easily transfer over. So it's pretty much uh, focusing more on the design change. So basically a new look, new color, um, because it's lower profile, probably fits underneath a lot more heat sinks? Uh, yes, it does. Fantastic. Now, I know that you were kind of humming and hawing about the name here. Uh, how close are you guys to picking a name for this? Because I know you're not going to call it T1. Yeah, we do have a, we do have a list of names. However, um, you know, we're, we're still kind of, you know, we have a lot of good names, actually. Um, so internally, we just have to pick one and stick with it. But it's going to be, it's going to be very exciting for us. Awesome. Well, we're at, the seat, we're at their booth right now. There's a couple other things that we want to check out, so let's go have a look at those as well, too. Now we're with Dave, our other good friend over at Kingston. He's going to tell us about a couple of new flash drive innovations that they have uh, happening at the show. Hey, what do you Steve? got here? Yeah, well, we have a couple of uh, USBs that we're announcing here at CES. Basically, you know, we realize that the, uh, a lot of the world is moving to Ultrabooks or tablet PCs. So what we're doing on the USB side is that since these devices are so small, hey, let's design light and thin USB drives to kind of match that. So basically what we can do is design a USB drive that can plug into a small tablet, but doesn't really get in the way. It doesn't really increase the overall size factor uh, or form factor you know, of the, of the device itself. So we've got, the first one I want to show you guys is the Data Traveler Micro. Oh, take a look at it. It's a very, very small, tiny USB. That's small. Is very small, but you know what's in here? Eight and sixteen gigs of memory in this little tiny form factor. That's that's awesome. It is it is, it is awesome, right? Let me let me just plug this in. Let me just show you guys like really how small it is. So there we go. There we go now. So what I've just done is I've actually plugged it, uh, plugged it in on this to, uh, Toshiba Portage. It's a Core i7 uh, Ultrabook. As you can see, how small the Ultrabook is itself. It's a, a 13-inch screen. But if you take a look at the Data Traveler Micro, it really it barely sticks out of the device itself. Yeah, it's like um, the, basically the size of one of the mouse dongles, uh, probably even smaller than some of the uh, ones that we've seen out there. It really is, and you know, it, it's this drive is so small. It's like, hey, just leave it plugged in. There's no need to take it. To, uh, you know, there's no need to unplug it. It's so small you can just leave it plugged in all the time. 
That's great. Now you've also got another drive here that you want to show us that's more for people that are a little bit more clumsy or carry it on a keychain, right? <laughs> that's right. This is our what we call a data travel tra data traveler special edition nine or SE9. So the data traveler SE9 is a, made of metal and it's got a key ring on the end. There's no cap. There's no uh, nothing moves on it. No moving part. It's just basically the drive itself, and you can see the USB connector on the end. So what I'm gonna do is just maybe I'll, let me unplug the DT micro and I'm gonna uh, plug this into that same slot. And I can show you that how far it really, it just does, it doesn't stick out all that far. There we go. As you can see, it doesn't really stick out all that far at all. And the color actually matches the uh, chassis of this computer. Yeah, it's actually quite neutral, so it should go with pretty much anything out on the market, especially high-tech products. And it, it is. It's really small. Again, it's 8 and 16 gigabytes, so there's a lot of memory packed into a really, really small form factor. And the fact that it's metal, has a key ring on the end, you know, if you don't use it uh, plugged into like a small computer or something like that, it's the perfect USB to put on your key, uh, keychain. Fantastic. Now, as far as, you know, availability and pricing, uh, these look pretty attractive. Uh, how are people going to pick them up? How are people going to buy them? And how much are you going to pay? You know what, uh, they, yeah, they really don't cost that much at all. It's like average prices, you know, whatever you're paying for a USB drive these days. Uh, what is it, on Amazon.com, uh, uh, you can probably find a, a USB drive there, like an 8 gig drive for $10. Yeah, yeah that, that's about what you're looking at. You know, 16 gig, maybe around $20, somewhere around there. This one might be just a tad bit more expensive, but it's also, you know what, it's a little bit faster. Mm. So, more or less the same price. You get a little bit more durability with the stainless steel one. Uh, if you're looking for something a little bit sm smaller form factor, you've got the uh, DT Micro over here. Uh, so, pretty much any drive for whatever you need. And, of course, you've got your HyperX line that we talked about uh, ad nauseum. It's the fastest drive that we've tested. Uh, that's right, yeah. The uh, Data Traveler HyperX 3.0, you know, that one has, uh, what is it, 225 megabytes per second read, 135 megabytes per second write. That's a fast, fast USB 3.0 drive. That's not one that you're going to want to leave plugged in all the time. That's the one to use when you have a lot of data to move and you don't have a lot of time to move it. Use the DT HyperX 3.0. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Dave, for talking to us. Uh, this is great. Uh, we've got more CES 2012 coverage coming up for you, so stay tuned on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash futurelooks.com. And check out our Twitter and Facebook. We've got pictures going up daily. Uh, you're going to want to have a look at that. I'm Stephen with futurelooks.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.